So let's talk about the short sale for a minute. Uh, in this case, the owner has incurred some sort of hardship. Normally this is a uh, job loss. Also sometimes it is um, some sort of medical emergency or medical, medical catastrophe. And so the analogy that I'll give you, which I kind of appreciate, is the child who's made an agreement with their father or their parent um, saying that they're gonna finish their dinner. And that child at some point along in the meal decides that they cannot finish their dinner so the child goes to the father and says, is this enough? Did I finish enough to satisfy your needs? And in an equivalent way with the short sale, what the owner is doing, the owner is trying to step away from their loan to sell their home without providing the bank what they owe. So if they bought a house for $100,000 and they paid it off, paid it off over the course of say five years, and now they owe $80,000 and say that the highest market value that they could get for that house is $60,000. They're going to the bank saying, I will give you this 60,000 if you let me out of our contract and let me sell this home, even though I owe 80,000. So just like the kid coming up to the father and saying, is this enough? Owner is going to the bank and saying, is this enough? Will you let me out of our deal? So an important point to remember with short sales, is that the bank is in control. No matter what the seller decides and accepts as an offer price, the bank has the final authority to say yes or to say no. And, and sometimes they don't say outright no, they come back with a counter offer. Um, but, but again, that's the distinction and that process takes time.